One of the oldest and largest parades took over El Cajon today. We brought you live coverage of the 67th annual Mother Goose Parade on 10 News this morning. 10 News reporter Marie Coronel shows us why organizers believe they have finally moved past those challenges they once faced. From the sidelines, the annual Mother Goose Parade delivered as it traditionally has, giving thousands of attendees a glimpse of the largest parade of its kind west of the Mississippi. Just to enjoy the marching bands and all the floats, and we don't live in El Cajon anymore, so to give them the experience of a real parade was very important to me. But for organizers, it hasn't always been the easiest parade to put together. Last year, the former parade president, Jillian Hansen Cox, pled guilty to embezzling three and a half million dollars and lying about it on her taxes. She was questioned about using that money to pay for celebrity appearances for the parade. Appearances, many say, aren't important as most people come to support their community and get into the holiday spirit. It's electric. It's really fun right now. There's so much going on and my daughter daughter got to see some of the, the pageant winners. She got to try on one of the crowns and see the twirly dresses and just seeing all the police cars and the some of the floats. This year they had about 30 sponsors, which is the same as last year. The biggest difference was in the number of groups that wanted to participate in the parade. There were more than 200 entries. That's 100 more than last year. Organizers can't say for sure why. Each year it's getting better and better. The economy is, is getting stronger. The city of El Cajon is developing more in the downtown district. Something businesses like Nicolosi's appreciates having just moved in. El Cajon is a big supporter of the businesses. We've done so much and they've done so much um, as far as marketing and having festivals and haunt fests and a lot of events for the community down here in our business area. The organizers are happy with the turnout from this year's parade. They say starting January, the work will begin planning for the next one. From El Cajon, Marie Cornell, 10 News.